Ferguson's, well, at least I was the tent manager for Ferguson's International, um, which is no longer airing. Uh, as usually, the first question I get asked, uh, when are we going to be back? I'm not, well, I might be, but not in the future. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I'm the tent manager, which basically meant I, I was in charge of everything on the show, and I'm the one that actually made everything happen. Um, so I'm basically the most important person. <laughs> Well, it's true! It was totally true. Um, you know, without me, it didn't happen. And now there is no show, sorry. Um, but yeah, so, um, you know, like, like I said, I was in charge of the tech, I was basically the one who was trying to bring new stuff to the show all the time. And, you know, before I was with GHI, I was building equipment, and, and after GHI, I was still building equipment. I now work for a company called Ghost of Stop. Um, that's Ghost Stop, not Ghost Stop, because that just wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> ghost Stop. Um, and you need it. Hey, GhostStop.com. Okay, that's where you want to give your gear from. So, yeah, and now I work for that. I basically have all these uh, for little lasers and uh, these lasers and stuff. But, yeah, so um, this is this, again, a lecture. Um, this, this is more sort of a I say a wind down, you can ask me questions if you want to, you don't have to, I can talk forever. <laughs> I, I can talk for a little bit. Um, anybody who has a radio show who has had me on there knows, I know that Tim, is he even here? Where's Tim? Uh, I think he's the oh, <laughs> Really? The second part? Um, oh, but Raw, where's Raw? Is he in the other? He's That's it. That one question at the beginning, and Scott and I have just taken over. Because he's just as bad as I am. He can talk and talk and talk. Mostly it's crap. Well, he talks, well, he talks a lot. Um, and he, you know who Scott is, right? He's like the little Hobbit guy. Harry Hobbit on the show. He is. He's one from Queens. But he's, yeah, he's, he's like the Hobbit. And Harry Tones and shit. He's really weird. He wears his flip flops and everything. It's like, oh, I'm not fancy. And he's always wearing his ICP shirt, and I, don't, I think he only owns two shirts. I swear to God, he only owns two shirts. He says, ICP shirt, and now there's one that says the hospital. That's all he wears. If you go on his Facebook, that's all he's wearing. Um, is it, I mean, is it feedback all right? Is it, I'll keep walking right close to the speaker. So, uh, can everyone see me okay? Yeah. And I'm pretty fat, so it helps. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, um, but not quite so that stuff. <laughs> uh, he's short. So we could kind of balance each other out a little bit there. But so uh, I love Scott, he's actually my best friend. Um, he, but the thing is Scott, and, and this is the best thing about Scott, is he creates the material for me. Because I couldn't write the shit that he does. <laughs> it's just not I, I, he is so funny, unintentionally. He he just oh my god, it's it's the funny shit really. Um, but yeah, so um Anyway, um, a lot of time, uh, do you guys know what the first one? Does anyone actually have a question? You guys suck. <laughs> well, let me pretend someone asked a question. Yes, you. Yes, how do you do? Right, so, um, <laughs> I, I think this all starts out. Um, uh, that's always the question I get. Which experience space you've ever been? Anybody's at ever? Um, so yeah, so um, I started out in the field uh, watching way too much television. That's basically it. I was like, as a kid, I didn't have this, this amazing uh, uh, experience where like I saw a man at the end of my head, or, so which, which everyone's like, oh, you know, I saw the spirit of my grandparents, or something made me in my ear dream, and since then I've been on a, on, on a quest to discover what is actually out there afterwards. No, I just watched way too much TV, way too much television. Um, I grew up in a very healthy diet of science fiction. I grew up watching Doctor Who, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Doctor Who is, 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 is just awesome. Um, the X Files. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Twilight Zone. Yeah. And all of that sort of opened my eyes to the possibility of other worldly things. Whether it's ghosts, UFOs, Bigfoot, whatever. And I am shit scared of aliens. <laughs> Not the movie. The Xenomorph thing? That's fine. E.T. Fuck off. <laughs> that little fuck with the head that goes on there. The big freaking thing coming at me with his mouth opening up and another mouth opening up. I can handle that shit. That's fine. That doesn't scare me at all. But E.T. was all friendly and crap. Signs is one of the scariest. Don't you 
you might get it down to its, its, its you know, core, they're the same. They're actually the same. I'm talking to guys who are out there with their night vision cameras, pointing it to the sky. I don't know if you know how far a night vision camera sees, but... A night vision camera only sees 7 to 10 feet in total darkness. That doesn't mean shit. <laughs> and yet they're seeing these balls of light. It's the same, same balls of light that we're seeing with the dust flying in front of the camera. But they're, they're aliens, they're ghosts. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same stuff. And you know, it's one of those things which you just you, you pick up and you realise that the, you know, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, I would know 30 years ago, wouldn't um, But yeah, uh, 20 years ago, when they were doing this commission, I was talking to John Tenney about this as well. He was saying that, the, the, you know, it was all one thing at one point. You know, you get, you don't just have a ghost conference and a UFO conference and a, a, a cryptozoology conference. It's always one the one blanket term, the paranormal, which is, again, that's what we do. It's, it's just a blanket term. And everyone would discuss the same thing, but now everything's being divided and everything's being labeled and kids can't be kids anymore because if they are, then they've obviously got ADD or something. Because um, I was a terror as a kid. <laughs> Believe it or not, I wasn't quite the angel I am today. <laughs> My language is probably a little better. <laughs> but, fuck that. Um, you, know, it, 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 you know, it was a case of like, I was just a kid. My parents would be like, okay, you've got to stay. If you're going to go out, you've got to stay at the end of the, the road. This is where you, fuck, that was over the fence. I was like a Mexican. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, but yeah. So, um, oh, I don't know where I where am I hiding. Oh, where else is hiding? Where am I going? Oh, yes. It's all good. I just want some more shit. I can just talk and talk. It doesn't matter. I've got an accent. So you guys can just listen to me This is the biggest hell. This is like the biggest turn for any lecture. I'm honored and scared.
don't know if you can tell, I've got that South Tucson accent. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, so I, I, I'm basically, I, I always have to fly to a larger airport and catch another flight out. So, which sucks, because when you're coming back, the last thing you want to do is go from one plane to another. You just want to go to bed. You can travel for 17 hours. So, but I, I basically, I got on this plane, and uh, it's really cool because I got the exit list. Whereas everybody else was like, I mean, everyone thinks we get to travel first class because we're on a TV show. That's just bullshit. That's that. I tell you what, if they could, they'd have me in the back of the chickens and the goats. <laughs> they really would. They really would. They're so cheap. They're so cheap. But uh, I, I, I lucked out. I got myself the exit which is great. I'm in the middle of it. I'm doing straight. I'm doing jumping jacks. I, I'm loving it because I've just been on the show and now I have got all this smack stuff. And, um, so yeah, I was just sitting there, I'm like looking at all that, how's everyone doing? Yes? So then I had to say my seatbelt, I put my seatbelt on, I'm like, oh, whatever, I just get out of my game. And, um, but then the stewards, and then they do their stuff doing their, their announcements, and, you know, safety announcements, and that's all about, you know, you know, you have to do your belt, and I had no shit. It doesn't matter, I've got a belt on there. And then I get a lot of flights from Phoenix to Tucson, right? Phoenix to Tucson. So 45 minutes gate to gate. And in, 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 in the event of a water landing, what? <laughs> <laughs> Between Phoenix and Tucson, a water landing. So we have to listen to a shit about life vests and stuff. But um, yeah, but yeah, so anyway, go to Australia. I told you about Trump. Um, so yeah, I do that. So, um, so anyway, yeah, I, 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 get, I get on this uh, on this thing, and I'm sitting down, like, and then like they're talking about the exits, and the exits, and then they fucking point at me. Well, what have I got to do with it? You know, it turns out if you have an exit row, you're part of the crew. Because now you have to know how that fucking door works. I've just got on the plane. How the fuck am I going to know how that door works? I've got to read a pamphlet. I've read an instruction book in my life. <laughs> I don't think any male cats. <laughs> they, like, they get themselves like, uh, you know, this thing from Ikea, and they're like, pfft, do What the fuck is this? It takes you twice as long, but you know you did it on your own. It was meant to be a cabinet, but now it's like some long art or something. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I haven't read it down, so I've got it. And they're like, no, I'm, I'm fucking on that part of the floor, it's great. Oh, you want some of room? But yeah, so, uh, yeah, you know, when you're on your plane, whenever you get on a plane, you've got a fart. <laughs> you, well, you never smell a fart on a plane. I'm serious, you never, you never smell a fart on a plane. If you need a toilet, you smell something sometimes, but you never smell a fart. And there's a theory, and I think it's got something to do with those seats, because you know that the flotation device is on well, I think what they do is they gain the air from the fart, so they don't just so if, if you need some water then, that's how you find it. That's how you find it. But the other thing is as well, whenever you get to your destination, there's always two guys in orange fluorescent vests in a wheelchair, right? They guide that bridge in, right? And there's, there's a good thing with it, right? So they guide the bridge in, they get there, alright? They open the door, 300 accumulated bars, that's what the wheelchair's for. There's, there's a guy behind me, he's like, so I might go. It makes sense when you think about it. We've done so. That's a good thing. Um, and then that whole the bridge thing. I mean, you've got to be a rocket scientist. I don't know if you ever walk on the plane. You look at the dials. There's always these like hundreds of dials on this thing. We've got a lot of like you know you got to tilt that way. You got to. I can do it. I try it. I got control. Um, so how are we doing for time? But I've got a few more stories to tell. Um, uh, I've got ten minutes. Oh, that's yeah, I'm going to talk about it. Go to the elevator, have a lift, or whatever you want to do. Yeah, the elevator. Get there, there's obviously mirrors everywhere, and the door's open. Fuckers! <laughs> I, I, I had no need to pee up until the point that I needed to get into the room. 
and that fucking car will just <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I don't know what it is you have to christen the room. Every time your bags just <laughs> run to the bathroom, the doors don't even shut, and then you just you just let yourself go. Um, but yeah, so that's um, yeah, so I, I got picked on a few times, but there was this one thing about Scott that he was adamant he was not gonna get caught. He was not, and he, he won't leave his laptop on, he won't do, you know, he'll, he'll make sure he locks everything on his laptop because he knows that, that we all know how to use Facebook. And Barry left his phone on the table once with Facebook open. And he went to the bathroom and asked, Oh yeah! You know, I was meeting while well, dropping a juice. I swear I did that. I was cooling about it. And then I just put it back. Um, that was brilliant. Uh, I'm so glad I got Barry. But um, Barry is, as I said, notorious for that shit. So I'm going to show you this video. Can we do the lights down? Yes. Thank you go so much. Parental advisors, it's fucking too late now. <laughs> I don't know how to follow the video. <coughs> this is Barry talking to Joe. Thank <laughs> you. 